Greetings everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to be looking at the A15 graphics tablet from Vike. So right off the bat, Vike was very gracious enough to send me this tablet to review. However, this is not sponsored, um, so all the opinions are my own. This is a standard drawing tablet, meaning there is no screen, so you just draw on here, and whatever you're moving, when you're moving the pen on the surface of this, it shows up on your screen, so the mouse will move, um, which is not a problem. There's a lot of people who start out with these kind of tablets, which is great, like these are very affordable. Um, right now, this is currently $50 which I think is a pretty fair price considering it's a uh, 10 by six drawing uh, like drawing area. Um, and it comes with a lot of buttons. I believe over here it tells you, yeah, comes with 12 buttons and you can see them all right here. Uh, so you got a couple rows of these. They're very nice. They got a nice, nice clickiness to them, which is really nice. Uh, this does nothing. This is just a color. Um, it does come in four different colors. I have the page up here so I can see here. It comes in the red, which is what I have. It comes in kind of a grayish color, a gold color, and a blue color. So it's pretty nice that you, it comes with different colors. Now, um, I actually did do a, um, tried to do an unboxing of this, uh, but that didn't go to well for me. Uh, the footage just, I didn't like the footage, but I'll, I have all the things here. So obviously you get the tablet. The next thing you get uh, from Vike normally is this pen. Um, it comes with this weird material. I don't know what this material is in this carrying case. I don't know if it's like suede or something. I don't know what this material is, but it's a nice little carrying bag. It's very light. You got the pen itself, which is um, completely battery free. It doesn't require any charging or anything like that. Um, it has two buttons on it, which is really nice. Um, the the only thing I would say negative about this is I wish it came with like a rubber grip. Um, I have a another tablet from uh, XP Pen, which does have the rubber hand, uh, like grip around the end which I really do like, so I wish more companies would just make that a standard feature of all pens because it's really handy. The uh, more things you get is you get the USB cable, which is actually a um, USB type A goes to your computer, but the part that connects to the tablet is actually a 90 degree type C connector, which is really nice. More devices these days are going to type C connectors just because they're so convenient, they can do a lot. Um, and the best thing is they're reversible, so you can plug it in any direction, especially with this 90 degree, it's really nice. Um, it plugs in right here on this side next to the little color thing. Uh, so it plugs in right there, which is really easy. It just kind of snaps in nice and snug. So you can either have it that way, or if you want, depending on how your desk setup is going, you can have it that way. So very versatile, really like that. Oh, also on the back of this thing, you'll notice there's nice little rubber pads to keep it from sliding on your, uh, on your desk surface. Obviously, with every tablet you get, you get a little glove from Vike. So I have so many of these bloody things <laughs> because of like all these products that I've reviewed. But they're a nice glove. They're basically, if you've ever gotten a tablet from any of these companies, it's that same kind of glove material. It's nice kind of soft fiber-esque material. It's very elastic. It's fine. Uh, the other things you get is you get the quick start guide in this little baggie. I don't know why it comes in a little baggie. I guess it's protected. But Quick start guide, which shows you how to install the drivers and how to plug this thing in. And then of course you get this little like thank you thing here. But the important part is it tells you where to get the drivers from because there is no CD. You gotta go onto the website to, to get the drivers from. Installation was also really simple. All you gotta do is go to the website, download the zip file of the latest drivers. Then all you gotta do is just quickly install it, which doesn't take that much time at all. Once you have it installed, it'll show up in your little window tray. You just right click it, go to show driver settings, and this is where you're gonna find all your settings for the things like the pen, the mapping for what part of the screen it's gonna control, the functions, which is all the keys that you're gonna be setting, which is all customizable. And of course, just the about us, which is where you can check for updates and stuff like that. Also in the function keys, I'll freeze frame here. Up at the top, you'll notice where it says all app. You can actually set it so that depending on what program you have open, it'll change what keyboard shortcuts you're using. So this is great for if you want to have it so that anytime you open up Photoshop, it's a different set of commands. If you open up Clip Studio, it's a different set of commands. If you open up Adobe Premiere or uh, Movie Studio or DaVinci Resolve, it's a different set for each one of those. So that's really handy here. A lot of times those CDs are reused or they're very old. They don't print new drivers on those CDs. So it's much easier to go to the website. You get fresh um, drivers, so you don't have to worry about driver issues or anything like that. But uh, anyway, 
Now, I've already used this tablet. Now, if you follow me or you subscribe to me, you'll notice that I did a video on Wednesday with my Drawing with Eric series where I drew uh, the Black Panther. And in that video, which I'll link in the description, I used this tablet to draw Black Panther. Now, my experience with that was obviously a little interesting just because um, me and these kind of tablets don't get along very well uh, because it's been so long since I've used them. I, I pretty much 100% switched over to display tablets that it's really hard for me to go back to these, but I will say, this is a really nice feeling tablet. I didn't have that many issues, and I'm sure if I drew with this every day, I would be able to get right back into them. In fact, the draw if you go and watch the video, the drawing came out fine, except for the hands, which that was just me not, me being derped with hands as always. But the drawing came out really well. I was able to sketch really easy. The surface is super smooth, so it's really easy to just glide across. Um, the buttons are really tactile, and you can really feel when you click them. Uh, but anyway, definitely check out that video because that'll show you it in action in full and how I draw with it. <clears throat> but my, my impressions of this tablet are very good, very positive. It's a very good tablet. For 50 bucks, for the fact that you get the 12 keys, uh, the USB Type-C connector, it's a 10 by 6 uh, inch work area, which is really nice. It's just a really good tablet. So my final thoughts are, I really like this tablet. For 50 bucks, you really can't beat this kind of quality. You get the 12 buttons, it's a 10 by 6 area, the surface is super smooth, the pen is, you know, battery free, so you don't even have to charge it or anything, and it's also got the two buttons, like, it's just, for eight for 81.52 pressure sensitivity, if that's something you're into because you're a painter or whatnot, you can't beat it. It's just, this is really good. Vike really hit it out of the park with this one. Again, you can also get multiple colors, you know, the, the, the it comes in four colors, so that's great. So, yeah. Check the link in the description where you can pick it up. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, definitely check out other reviews of it just to get multiple opinions, especially if you find an opinion from someone who will use it the same way you do. So just make sure that it is what you're gonna want. But for me personally, I can highly recommend this tablet for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or even advanced. It's just a nice tablet to have, especially if you're needing space saving. But anyway, that's beside all the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it that thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Leave comments below. If you have this tablet, I would love to hear your opinion on it or how you like it. If you have any questions, um, definitely you can ask me, but I would suggest just going directly to Vike themselves. They've been very helpful for me with any questions I've had. Uh, make sure you leave a comment on anything you'd like to see me drawing next or any tutorials or anything like that. Um, but anyway, let's keep that discussion going. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.